What's the connection between Bill Clinton, the Rothschilds, and how diamonds were used to take over the world? It starts at the 1992 Democratic National Convention when Bill Clinton accepted the nomination for presidency of the United States. During his speech, he referenced the influence of Georgetown professor Carol Quigley. Now in 1966, Carol Quigley wrote the book Tragedy and Hope. However, the book was removed from circulation for over a decade after the publisher Macmillan was pressured by outside influence. They later republished it and tried to alter the text. In the book, Quigley talked about this guy, John Cecil Rhodes. He owned the De Beers Diamond Company. In fact, he had a monopoly over the world's diamond supply, and he believed that he had a calling to spread English culture throughout the world. In his last will and testament, he establishes the Rhodes Scholarship at Oxford, and his diamond monopoly is used to fund the Society of the Elect, along with his business partner, Nathan De Rothschild. This is why I write children's books on the banking system. They set up think tanks to manage international affairs all over the world. The Royal Institute for International Affairs in England, a council on foreign relations in the United States, which of course was chaired by J.P. Morgan and the Rockefellers. This is why I write books on how information is controlled, the fake news media, why we need our rights to teach our kids to see through the lies. Because you know the school system won't do it. ClassicalLearner.com